I just find it so interesting to read books about different topics like history, facts, basically like any book that you give me, I'd probably read it. <laughs> How I get up is I use my chairlift, which is basically like a chair that has like a track. It's just easier for me because it's really hard for me to go upstairs. I'm Resha, a mother of Bazi, a nine-year-old boy. Bazi's condition is not only a, a rare diagnosis, but also a, a progressive one. And I think both these factors weigh on us um, in different ways. Bazi has a disease called uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It is a progressive disease. It is a deadly disease. As a parent, when we received that catastrophic um, diagnosis, we felt, oh, I felt like I failed him as a mother. It was very difficult to arrive at not just a diagnosis, but just a, a doctor that's willing to listen. And it took us a while, after several pediatrician visits, after many more milestones that were missed, visits to specialists, and she knew, she knew from, I think, six months in, she knew something was wrong. Just when we had given up and said, okay, he's, he's just delayed with his milestones, um, he was due for a tonsillectomy. He had to do some blood work before his procedure. That took us to a young doctor. And she said, do you mind before I sign off on the blood work that's needed that I ask you a few questions and, you know, examine him? And then that young doctor started asking the exact same questions that worried me. And then she said, do you mind if I just do a, a, a test, test him here? And we said, yeah, please go ahead. And she dropped a pen on the floor. <laughs> and he bent over to pick it up. And then we all saw it, me, Tariq, everyone in the room, how when he came up from the floor, he walked up his body. And that's a telltale sign, apparently, we later found out for Duchenne. That reminds me of the time you accidentally went to New Jersey when we were going to Connecticut. <laughs> Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a severe, progressive disease of uh, the muscles. For many of these rare diseases, they become quite difficult to diagnose, partly because they're so rare that many in the medical community have never seen them uh, or are not aware of them. In Duchenne muscular dystrophy, we're starting to get to a stage where an early diagnosis could really have a big impact on the likely course of somebody's disease by plugging into care early, by getting appropriate specialist advice early. But there are also benefits to the scientific community to build up a better understanding of the whole population of patients with disease and what happens to them. The more information that we have now about individual rare disease diagnoses, the faster things will progress in terms of improving the care of patients. At the end of the day, he's a nine-year-old, right? And so you have to give him the semblance of a normal life. He's special in every way, including having this rare disease. But you have to have a balance between what he can do and what he can't do. He can't go on a trampoline, for example. He can't jump around as, uh, as normal and as easy as the next kid. But he can swim. So we let him swim and he enjoys it. One thing I've always been dreaming about is um, opening a restaurant. What kind of food would you have? Um, I'd say I don't really know. I just like, if I could have everything, then I would, like every single cuisine. 
<laughs> the day is coming when we see the kids beat this disease early on. And I, and I can see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. We're not there yet, but we will get there, I'm positive.